guys know what I am doing to sew all of this trim on along here. So in my Q&A, I sewed on this trim here, which is attached to the actual corset layer, which is the this layer here, the white cotton. Whereas for these ones going along the waistline, um, I'm actually trying to sew it just to the purple dress layer. So what I've done is I've gathered all of the skirt up here um, and put my hand to contain all of that skirt fabric. And then the corset fabric down here is underneath my hand. So I'm not catching any of that corset layer when I sew this trim onto the dress. And the same thing as what I was doing in my Q&A video. I am basically, there's my thread, there it is. I'm just going along, um, my hand is, my two fingers are here, just under the fabric and moving the skirt fabric out of the way. And I'm just doing tiny back stitches all along, whoop, all along the stem of the leaf trim. And that's about it. And then I'm just trying to be very careful not to get knots. I'm pretty bad at this, but there we go. So, actually, I'll zoom in. There we go. So you can see the stitching along here. So I've just pulled the thread out from there. And now I'm just going to go back behind where I just pulled out from. Go into the dress and back out about a centimeter away from where I pushed the needle in and pull. And that's it. So I am just going to continue doing this, watch some YouTube while I do it, watch a movie perhaps. It's going to take quite some time. Um, yeah, but after I've sewn down all of this bodice trim, I am going to move on to, move on to sewing or pinning at least pinning the trim to the bottom of the dress. So, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to continue, continue doing this. So the rest of this process is pretty repetitive. Um, I'm not going to talk through the whole thing. I'll just um, speed up some of the clips and put music over the top. Um, so feel free to skip ahead if you want to move on to how the leaves are sewn onto the skirt portion of the dress. Um, yeah, I'm just going to show some extra footage of the gold leaf trim being sewn to the bodice if you're interested.
the skirt portion of the dress. Um, so all of the gold leaf trim has been sewn to the bodice and I'm happy with it. Um, so with the remaining leaf, leaf trim thing, um, I just cut it in half and then tried to work out how I could place those leaves. <laughs> I keep stopping whenever I come to the leaf thing. Um, I'm just calling it leaf trim, that's what I'm calling it. Um, so I basically tried to figure out placement of the leaf trim up the two sides of the dress. Um, so I wanted the leaf trim placed at two places at the front of the dress, um, sort of like off to the side but not the actual side seams of the dress, um, if that makes sense. Um, and this is following the original artwork by um, Steve Thompson or Stephen Thompson. Um, so once I had gotten the placement right of one of the leaf trim stems, I sewed that down by machine as you can see here and you can see that I'm like sewing it down in a wavy pattern so it, it looks like the leaf trim is um, growing up the side of the skirt if that makes sense so it's not just a straight vertical line um, it is a bit wavy <laughs> um, yeah and I used the seam that was there on the chiffon layer as a guideline of where to follow um, so that's one leaf trim stem sewn down on that side of the dress and then I moved on to the other side now, silly me, I didn't realise that when I was doing this side of the dress I was actually pinning it to a different seam than the one that I had just sewn um, and I didn't actually realise until after I had sewn this second leaf stem down. Um, so I ended up <laughs> changing my original plan, so the original plan was just to have two leaf trim stems going up the skirt. I ended up having to do more because of my silly mistake, but I'm fine with that. I mean, sometimes the mistakes that happen end up being good things. I think it was a good thing in this case. <laughs> um, so I am sewing that second leaf trim down. Um, yeah, nothing else to explain here. So once that was done, <laughs> you can see my mistake. <laughs> um, the leaves are not sewn evenly spaced. Yeah. Oh, and I also had this like flower that I was thinking of using, but then I decided no, I really want to incorporate these pink and blue flowers into the dress because it ties in with the whole theme of Aurora and also it ties in with the colours of the base dress underneath as well. Um, yeah, so that's my thinking there. Um, moving on to the rest of the leaf trim, um, this is where I decided uh, I'm going to have to just cover up all the front seams with leaf trim. Um, to disguise my mistake <laughs> um, and so that's basically what I did. Um, so I sewed six leaf trim vines up the skirt and they were all on the front half of the skirt. Um, I know that it looks weird in the end because it, the, plain, the back is very plain um, but I'm fine with that because I am going to be making a cape for this dress um, and I don't want the cape to be constantly catching on the, the leaf trim on the back of the dress so yeah I'm fine with that. Um, so I bought 10 yards of this leaf trim and it was enough to do all of the bodice trim, the front portion of the skirt and also I used the leftovers for a little bag. Um, I, will, I will be making a video on the bag um, in a few weeks, but yeah, the, the leaf trim, uh, 10 yards was, was enough. Um, so that was good. I mean, if you wanted to cover the back part of the skirt with leaf trim, you would need more than 10 yards. Um, yeah, so now I'm just sewing down all of this trim. And I think that's it for this video. Um, I did speak a little bit about the flowers that I'm going to use. Um, so as you saw, I've got pink flowers and 
like a periwinkle blue and they match really well with the base dress fabrics. Um, and thanks, thanks Nicole from Let Down Your Golden Hair for gifting me those flowers. Um, yeah, I wouldn't have those flowers if she hadn't give, gifted to, um, them to me in The Secret Santa. So thank you very much. Uh, in next week's video, I will be going through flowers. Yes, I think so. Yeah. Um, so next week's video will be placement of the flowers on the 